Hello gamers, we are playing Conan Exiles today and thought it would be fun to show you where we've set up our first base as it's probably been one of the best spots we've found in the entire game for a first base. As you can kind of see from behind me, got a little bit of a giveaway here is where we are at. Let's check it out at the map. Down here on this island is actually one of the best spots to be for the beginning of the game. You can see he actually spawned right here down in the broken highway so we're not too far away and this spot I'm going to show you why is one of the best spots for a first base. Here's what we got going on right here just a basic setup nothing fancy a little bit of everything though you can see we've reached a stove here because we've made it to level 30 we decided well before we go on and start building a base in higher areas, let's show you what we got set up here. Now, one of the most important reasons why this is the best first base is it is an, on an island. There is nothing that spawns here all by itself. There is nothing that spawns here. We are on an island. Very important at the beginning of the game to find a spot that you're going to be able to be safe and uh, not be near any spawns. Over here is an alligator. It's the closest dangerous spawn. Um, he will swim over there or over here to us, I should say. Another good reason this is a great first base is right over here. You have lots of rocks, trees, fibers. We got yellow, the old yellow lotus. There's eggs, meat, plenty of it. That was silly. Lots of meat. There's also lots of spawn points. nearby for fibers and aloe another good thing there's lots of big trees that you can get for bark, for wood. We have a couple eggs hiding out over here. There's some more aloe. There's actually some grubs you'll find in the dirt. If you look around, eventually one find them as well. Plenty of sticks. So all your basic resources are right here. Also nice thing about this island is you have this little bridge here. A little sand bridge. This allows you to haul your thralls from a camp not too far down the way actually. Great camp. Pull your early thralls from. Got one going on right now. Oh actually he looks like he's finished. Now another good thing about this camp is there is so much food and supply of fresh meat and fish. If you come down here into the water, we've got a couple traps and if you set up here in this fish line, you have so much fish. Look at that. I just cleaned this out. Just maybe a day or two ago. Look at all this. So much food. Endless amount of fish. See that guy over there? Yet yeah, another great reason why this is a great first base because this guy spawns flawless armor all the time. 
And he's kind of tough in the beginning of the game. But, because he fights this alligator, he'll get weakened up a little bit. And you just let them beat it up each other. And even when you only have stone tools, it's pretty easy to defeat him. He's spawned a little higher. on a little higher level now. Which was also great, because it scales pretty quickly. And look at that. Flawless medium cap, turban, reinforcement. Look at that. That's great early level stuff. I mean, that flawless medium cap is probably better than what I'm actually wearing right now. All right, get some. One of these guys will always will kill the other, and that allows you to easily kill them and get yourself some armor very quickly. I'm going to do another walkthrough from beginning the game and show you how we got to this point. Probably with a different character, but another great reason this is the best place to start a base is you come over here this is a little camp only two they're very low level big old level 30 me have no problem smashing them don't try to block me just go down that's better arrows. They'll drop random stuff. Sometimes it's more valuable than others, but it's, it's pretty good. Look at all this stuff we found just in this short run already. Exception of this dried fruit. But this camp, there's dried berries, or there's berries here. Desert berries. Plenty of them. Also, check this out. Hidden behind these bushes here. It's a pretty nice chest. Spawns all kinds of random stuff. Especially low level game. You're always going to find something useful in here. Best part of the whole thing. I know it's taken a while to get there. But check this out. We are so close to a giant pile. of ironstone. We're going to have to dump some of this simply because I'm not going to have room for it. Don't need that. Have plenty of those back. So you just come down this beach, and you know, a couple critters here. You just run, run by. Sometimes they do spawn a larger monster, so be careful, low level. But you can always just run right by them. And by the time you reach the top of the hill, they're gone. Now, what's great? is at the top of this hill, not too far from your camp, there's this little ghost camp. This little ghost scene. Make sure you check it out. Ooh, submissive. Also, right here, more ironstone. So it's three rocks so far within the camp. And guess what? Right over here are three more ironstone rocks. And there's one more, bringing the grand total to seven ironstone rocks within just a short distance of the camp. And they're all easily accessible with very little fight. Now, 
this one, these guys will come after you. But they're all very low level. They're the weakest monsters in the game. I mean, you really have nothing to worry about, even at the first level. Oh, let me get my bearings here. So there's the entrance to this cave here called the Cavern of the Fiends. There's a boss in there. But right here on the outside is the seventh iron stone rock. That brought me to 140 iron stone that run. That's actually kind of low. Normally I reach between 150 and 160. Now, you can go back down and around. Right? There's the path down. It's gotten a little late. But, I just like to come over here. Just a little bit of a fall. I'm also being a little careless because I'm trying to hurry for you guys to show you just how great a spot this was. So, recap. We have fish. We have fresh meat. We have rock and trees and fibers. Aloe plants. There's ironstone nearby. So, thanks for watching, guys. This is the beginning of my base. Very basic, but it is a great place to start. I've had no problem reaching level 30 from this position, and as you can see I have plenty of nice weapons and armor all even twinked out a little bit. So all my iron tools uh, really really has been a great spot to get going. So hope you guys enjoyed it and thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.